Hello, welcome. My name's Dion Swift. Welcome to my studio. Over the next few days, I would like to share with you a few more of my sketchbooks so that you begin to understand a little bit more of the background to my work and why and how I create and get my inspiration. I hope you find it useful and I hope you enjoy. This is a sketchbook that dates back to my days um, doing MA. I did my MA in Birmingham at UCE. And this particular sketchbook, I guess, holds fabric samples and experimentations with some notes as to how I created things so that I've got a reference for later on. So particular effects that I might want to go back to and revisit. Um, here I'm really working on using one colour and seeing how it is translated across different media. So the same colour here on textured wallpaper and a kind of mesh and this um, recycled paper here. The colour is absorbed in different ways and different rates. I've used plaster and newspaper and Procyon dyes, um, wax resist, again with Procyon on paper. Here there's a bit more plaster and relief work. I'm very much playing with, with texture and getting to understand what I'm drawn towards and what I'm interested in. A bit more work on batik here. I think at this period of time as well, I was also settling myself into the MA and finding my feet. I was doing my MA at the same time as running an HND at Barnsley College. And we were also in the process of moving um, up to Yorkshire and I was pregnant. <laughs> so I didn't have much to deal with. This is... Um, puff binder here I don't know if you can really see the relief but it's printed puff binder so you print it on with a silk screen and um, once it's dry you warm it up and it expands and it creates a texture on the surface I think I found this knit I don't think I, I ever did any knitting much more of the the expandex here um, very finely very delicately printed on and here I'm looking at a rib cage as a supporting structure for some of the forms that I created. Colour, colour was very important to me in my MA work. I'm a bit stuck here. This one's very textured. This is more of the puff binder, but on paper this time. And then I also printed from it. A bit more puff binder. So there's a continuum. Um, the ideas flow from one page to the next using similar media. We've got wax as a resist here and this is the back of the page. So I've saved small marks and small samples from larger pieces of work the, the whole maybe didn't interest me, but there was a certain element within it that did captivate me. And that's the bit that I saved and included in this book as a, as a reference. So in this particular instance, I haven't made the pages in the book. I've found, collected, played and explored with different media outside of the book and then collected them in. So really, the book is acting purely as a container in this case. As a means of holding the, the different examples together. It's like a storage box. If you watched some of the videos last week, you'll have seen some of my, some of my samples in a big box rather than a book. So these are pleated samples. I did a lot of work with pleating. Um, by the end of my MA, and these were some samples sent to me. 
We have bleached lines here. Discharge, it's a really unfortunate name, but it's a printing technique where you can remove colour from um, dye. And I've used that here as well. A few more um, pleated samples. I didn't end up using too much of the commercial pleating like this because um, you need to really use a synthetic fabric and um, I've never been overly keen on synthetics. If you want, if you want the pleats to hold in the, in the fabric anyway, you need it to be synthetic. But there's some really, really lovely effects. And I think it was the London Pleating Company, if I remember rightly, who I visited. And they do a lot of work for theatre companies, things like that. Mm, that post stuck together. We've got glue and latex coming now. And heavier fabrics as well with, with Hessian. So you can see there was a lot of experimentation at this, at this stage. And um, it was good to save as much as I possibly could. These are sections bonded onto a thinner, you see, bonded onto a thinner fabric with dyes. Similarly here, different shapes bonded on and also printed as well. Different surfaces. More of my own irregular pleating and a bit of um, puff binder again and the start of early pleating. If um, you've been on any straight stitch workshops with me or done the embroidery workshop online, you'll know that I love um, straight stitch and um, I really enjoy what straight stitch and pleating and folding can do. And I think my love affair with that started at this kind of stage. It's a very, very overlooked stitch. We all want to do fast and furious free machine embroidery, but actually going back to some straight stitch, which seems relatively basic, can be incredibly rewarding. We've got some print here as well. And I've used a, a smocking machine to get some um, corrugations in this paper. Can you hear it? Makes a lovely sound. There's a bit of latex here with plaster. Scrim, more print, kind of like holographic print. Um, I've used quite a lot of holographic print over the years, particularly in my New Grounds project. Here, pleating really begins to kick in. Small pin tucks that um, help to structure the movement of the fabric. This was the very early days of my pleating. Wax resist on a very crinkly paper. I think that's the end of that book. It's very full. It's very nice for me to revisit it um, and have another look. It's a book that I created over 25 years ago and it's kind of stood the test of time for me because there are quite a few pages in here that I feel that I could revisit just at the moment and pick up all over again um, exactly what I was thinking at the time. but in a new way, in a new fresh way, and um, put my own slant on it, now knowing what I know. So I hope you find that interesting to see that particular book. There will be another one tomorrow. Plenty of sketchbooks to keep you entertained. Please share the video um, and sketchbook or one of the sketchbooks if you enjoyed the video if you found it useful then please share and um, also go and have a little look at my website because there might be a few more snippets of interesting information for you there thank you bye